Hello, fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with his uh, most current uh, comic book haul. It's going to be a quick one. I only got about 70 books, I think. And uh, it's going to be mostly, a lot of it's half-priced books, believe it or not, this time around. And then some IG, uh, eBay, and I think that's about it this time. It's just going to uh, be a quick little thing. I'm going to a show uh, it's actually a toy show, but they're supposed to have a lot of comics there, so I'm hoping I can get enough there to do a vid on that all alone. So, but anyway, so this is kind of sandwiched between this one and the last one. So, uh, let's get going here. Uh, this first group of books came from AB Comics on Instagram. Um, also prefacing, I'm fighting. I'm on the tail end of fighting a cold here, so uh, bear with me if uh, if I don't sound my normal self. But anyways, like I said, this group of books came from. AB AB Comics, um, and uh, this one here is X-Men Legacy. It's the Marvel 70th Anniversary. I am working on this one. I've got the 25th Anniversary, so I'm working on the 70th, and I think there's a 50th also. So this is issue 227. Um, this Jonah Hex kind of coveted for the uh, cover, I believe. Uh, regardless, it's it's a sought after issue, and uh, just never pulled the trigger. He had a real reasonable price on it, so grabbed it. Um, Marvel Voices, the variant edition number one, just this really beautiful black cover. Uh, Spider Man had to grab that. Full Moon, who is is uh, David seeking near mint or no? It's uh. Uh, Doom 143, I think, that was a big sucker for full moons. I don't know if he watches stuff anymore, even mine. But um, VO, I think this is called. Or no, VIP. <laughs> I remember the show when I was, uh, what, back in the 90s, I think, with uh, Pamela Anderson. And uh, these are the photo covers. This is the regular photo cover. And this is a variant and then, uh, oh, it's, this is a preview edition, and this is the gold preview edition. So the, once again, let's get this right. So you've got the regular premiere edition, the preview edition, and the gold variant edition. This is obviously a big rip off of charlie's angels that sort of thing i i gotta be honest i don't think i ever watched an episode of this but um these 90s especially pamela anderson covers can be coveted and can can uh, go for a little bit of money to the right buyers so um you might well if you come across these in the well it's something you might want to pick up uh, and this is a df i didn't even realize that it comes with a certificate of authenticity uh this book here i've been wondering uh, wanting for quite a while this is cry for dawn um the uh boy is this issue one i believe uh i believe it's issue one and uh just a really coveted cover here got that Minara-esque type of uh, feel here with the uh, butt up in the air type of thing. But this can easily sell for $50, $60, maybe even more raw at times. And this came out back in the 90s also, uh, Michael Linsner. So, uh, like, in, there's not a lot more I can say about it. Um, if you ever come across it in the wild, um, it's, it's not easy to find, that's for sure. Pretty low print run, too, so um this beautiful david mack variant to red sonia number 25 uh, love his watercolors valkyrie uh one shot beautiful uh is this an encleto and i can never pronounce his name an encleto is that isn't it uh beautiful one shot there and this was another one i've been wanting forever in a day the waking um J, uh, J. scott campbell uh another coveted book that's hard to find and when you do find it it's easily a 40 50 dollar book um so uh, i didn't pay anywhere near that uh so very happy about that so thank you ab as always for hooking me up oh and then uh this one also here which i gotta kind of elaborate on uh this is the guardians 3000 uh it's a uh giant size x-men one homage and that's the way reason i picked it up and i always blame 
my acclivity towards these homage covers towards a poor man's comics and um so when i grabbed it i was pretty happy you know and uh, and poor man's even remarked he hadn't seen this one <laughs> and i'm like damn i got one by him yeah and uh so then when i went to this show that i uh showed the last uh video where i found the oh where'd it go right here the the sketch variant so these turn out to be the 2014 New York City Comic Con uh, role variant uh, to uh, Guardians 3000, and as I mentioned, this one here is a, a I I don't like to use that term ghost very often, but like I said, there's only one on eBay right now in for sale, and none are have been sold, so you can't get a real base on this. And uh, the one that's for sale, they're asking $180 raw. So, uh, and I have, I've tried to do some research on this. I don't know what the ratio is, but I just like this cover. And then when I found this for like three bucks, I'm like, damn, that's awesome. So yeah, pretty cool. All right. So thank you so much, AB. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. Um, uh, mostly eBay stuff right here now. Um, this is <clears throat> Wolverine 41. The, um, let's see, uh, I'm going to do something here real quick. Sorry. I always end up showing the next book whenever I do this. This is a Wolverine. It's the certificate. Uh, it's a Megacon exclusive by John Giang and is uh, one of... 800 uh so this is 293 of 800 people have been trying to tell me this is 500 when i bought it they claimed it's 500 but i'm going with their certificate of authenticity saying that this is uh one in 800 the, obviously the reason i purchased this is that it's an uh hulk 340 homage and um I, I'm just a sucker for homages of 340, so had to grab that. So very happy. All right, so now the next books. It says Detective 283. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Phantom, which is a really one-off uh, villain of Batman. Uh, happy to get this. It's a 10 cent detective sub 300, um, actually sub 290. Now I'm in, so, uh, I'm working on trying to get to that, uh, 235, I think it is, or it's the, um, last silver age or last golden age issue and, uh, for silver age. So, um, and once I get to that, I'll have every, uh, silver age Batman except for, Brave and the Bull 28, I think. Um, probably wrong on that. I know I got all the world's finest. I know I've got uh, all the Brave and the Bold, all the Batmans, all the Justice Leagues. Uh, I'm missing, like I said, Brave and the Bold 28. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> oh, I've got all the. Uh, I don't. I don't have all the Brave and the Bolds. I'm missing 28. I have all the. Uh, oh my God, what is? Uh, yeah, Brave and the Bold. Yeah. Anyway, so kind of had a brain fart there. Happy to get that. Uh, the Max seems to be kind of a character that's gaining some interest now. I know that there's some rumors floating around about him. So I'm trying to snatch up some of the Max books that I'm missing. One of them is this, uh, Max Half, the gold ver uh, variant. Uh, so now what I'm looking for is I need max one the 3d i don't have a 3d yet so i gotta find one of those um but happy to get this oh, i love the half versions i don't believe i ever i can't believe i don't have the gold already but i'm a sucker for uh for wizard halves uh found a group of books from one seller on eBay that was having some real reasonable prices on these. I think I paid like two or three bucks a pop is all on these. Uh, and these are Mike Mayhew uh, Vampirillas. This one I need to fill the run. I think this is issue nine. And this is another one that I need to fill the run of the Mayhew covers in this series. 
and this is the last one I needed to fill the run in the Mayhew series. Then this is X Babies number two, Scotty Young cover. Uh, Red Sonia, I believe this is art. No, Greg Horn, I believe this is. Beautiful cover. I've had this be a few times and I've sold it every time. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this one or not, but uh, I may. I'm not sure. Um, then I thought there was a couple more that I got. Uh, maybe that was it that I got from that seller. All right. thought there was a couple more. Sorry. Uh, then from a guy on IG, and I'm forgetting his name. It's not Comic Fanatics. I'm so sorry. I, I If I remember, I'll try to mention you in the next video. But um, he had Telos, number five. Poor man's alerted me to this guy. And uh, this is another Hulk 340 homage. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this Transmetropolitan, uh, a Copper Tone-esque uh, homage. Bought these off of eBay. This is definitely a Copper Tone-esque uh, homage. Batman number 160 to 142, I believe that is. And Gennard's uh, Swimsuit Edition. Kind of pair up nicely together like that so yeah bottom is a set i think i got both for 15 bucks that wasn't that bad and this one here oh my gosh i've been looking for this thing for ever oh my god i saw this probably oh i will eight years ago maybe eight nine years ago uh on a listing on ebay where he was selling it as a group of uh of uh spider-man homages mcfarland homages and uh it always intrigued me and i could never find it and the reason being is is that it's a flipping australian book and uh, i i know poor man's has both versions of this and if you do find it people want well over 150 bucks if you you know maybe 60 70 on the really low end and even that was more than i wanted to pay for this book so finally found it got it shipped from australia and i paid about half of what i i've seen others uh charge for it less than half so very very happy like i said it's a it's a one no i think it's three issues uh and it's a australian comic and uh it's called pizza man um uh, McFarlane homage. Oh, got one more, I think. Yep. And then this one here was one. I just wanted this for a long time. And it doesn't go for much, surprisingly. At times, the regular number one issue goes for more than what this sells for sometimes. But this is a one in 250, I believe. Uh Frank Quietly, it's the it's the a sketch version of uh, this cover of Batman and Robin number one, first appearance of Professor Pig. Um, and uh, I, I think I paid 15 bucks for this thing. So it wasn't that bad at all, um, especially for a one and 250. Now I have all the versions of the cover. I think there was four, four versions. Uh, there was four printings, I think, and then the black and white, and I have them all. So it's pretty cool. <clears throat> all right, and now, <clears throat> going to be all half price book stuff here found this conan the avenger number 21 i believe it is that this cover has been done several times uh savage conan number five i believe is the first time you actually kind of see this then which blade homaged it uh issue number one there's a um uh uncanny x-men that homages this and so when i saw this i grabbed it uh speaking of homages uh here's harley quinn uh 2022 annual the jim lee uh variant it uh homages the uh, uh batman 608 second print uh conan 14 first appearance of elric uh, this is, uh, I think this is, yeah, it's a Miles Morales 25, I believe, um, cardstock variant. This is the negative variant to Spider-Boy number one. 
G-Man number one homages, another giant size X-Men. Uh, some Freddy, Jason, and Ash. I will pick up any of these books. If you can find these books for five bucks or under, you're you're a fool to not pick them up to even flip them. They're, they consistently sell for $10 to $20, sometimes even more. Uh, this is number two, number five, and number six. That's a great cover. Uh, number one of these John Christopher Tyler uh, uh, toy uh, covers to What If Ghost Rider. Uh, this, I don't find a lot of Silver Age at my uh, half price books. And if they do, they don't care what it is. It's a thousand dollars. I'm not, I'm kidding. It's not that much, but they think it's worth a lot of money. And so I don't even really bother to buy much silver from them, but this is inferior five. I don't even know what issue this is. It was two bucks. It's in low shake, low grade, but yeah, for two bucks, it's number four. Uh, Joshua Middleton Batgirl cover to number six. Uh, Bozo the Clown 3D. I Spy number five. You got a, I, you know, another Golden Age, I guess. Silver Age. Uh, did I say that other one was Golden Age, Inferior Five? If I said golden, I meant silver. Sorry. Um, but uh, Silver Age, I Spy, I thought this was issue number one. I My phone wasn't working. It was like $3, so I thought, why not, you know. Uh, I remember this show when I was a kid, so, yeah, why not. Uh, Batman Forever, I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen this poly bag before. So, it was like 8 bucks. I know it's probably what it goes for, but... I just thought it was kind of cool to find one still polybagged. So I grabbed it. Batman Forever, the movie adaptation. <clears throat> uh, some DC Universe variants. These are doubles. I do own these already. Uh, Superman, number 74, uh, DC Universe. And Super Action Comics. Oh my God, is that 684, I think? DC Universe. Uh, Pearl, number one, seen a little bit of uh, heat th lately. I think it's been optioned or something. I think Bendis' stuff has all been optioned. Could be wrong there. Looney Tunes, number one. Uh, it's got uh, Marvin the Martian, Pepe Le Pew. Got to grab it. Uh J I don't even know why I'm showing this. Just, just a filler issue of J2 that I need. I think I paid 25 cents for it. Uh, some spawn issues. These are all doubles. If anybody's interested here, um, I'll grab anything issue probably 50 or 60 and over if I can get them for a couple bucks. 69, 73, 74, 78, uh, 56 cool cover uh 60 and 64 oh one more i think 66 another one too boy i grabbed a lot more than i thought uh 68 and 86 okay that's the last of them so yeah like i said if i can get them for a couple bucks I i'll grab them especially if there's not much else to grab uh wolverine origins the director cut uh just a variant michael turner cover uh zodiac number one first appearance of the zodiac batman 404 i believe this is the uh first uh part part two of year one Oh, it's 405. Sorry, issue 405. And Marvel Point One, first appearance of Sam Alexander Nova, the new Nova. Almost done. Grabbing the last stack here. So, like I said, it's not a very long word. Video. Uh, I grabbed this Phantom Stranger uh, for 25 cents. It's a, a mini series that he was in there. I think it was a mini series. Yeah, four issue mini series. So, uh, why not? 
25 cents. Uh, Marvel Milestone, I know Sabretooth is hot right now, and I know this issue is hot. So when I saw the Milestone edition, I decided why not. Um, Legion of Monsters, uh, Morbius, just a beautiful cover here. <clears throat> Batman Beyond, number one. Uh, series two, I believe this is. Black Panther, number one. Don't know what issue this or what series volume that is, but uh, uh, the um, fan uh, Mask of the Phantasm Batman, uh, the uh, prestige format, and uh, Spider Man number one. This is a McFarlane, the silver variant. I did look, it's not the uh, error version. Uh, Hood number one out of first uh, or out of his uh, mini series. Uh, second miniseries atari force number one yeah why not it's number one huh starlight number one mark millar uh why not i think it was 25 cents um marvel comics presents 85 i believe this is the cameo of cypher <clears throat> uh flash number three first appearance of uh uh the uh uh, Wally West that was in the TV show, the uh, African-American version. Some A Next. Uh, this is Hope Pym cameo, I believe. First full Hope Pym, I believe. And then this is a whole bunch of people. This is Red Queen, Big Man, the Revengers, all of those, all first appearances. Uh, Captain Adam number one. This has been on some hot ten lists lately. So when I found it, it was three bucks. I thought, why not? Uh, Heroes for Hire. You got to grab stuff. Deadpool now, don't you? <laughs> With the movie coming out. It's the only Marvel movie coming out this year. What a bummer. Uh, Deadpool, huh? Um, so this is Heroes for Hire number 10. I believe this is volume one. Uh, Secret Defender 16, Deadpool. It's so funny. They, this is there was three issues of this. Believe it or not, at half price books, one had a price of five dollars. Another one had a price of four dollars. This one didn't have a price, so I brought it up to the counter, and she says four or two bucks. I says okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <clears throat> All right. Um, House of Mystery. This is the first appearance of Chris Chrisinda Chrisinda, uh, a barmaid that kind of lives forever kind of a thing or keeps dying and gets reborn type of thing so um infinite crusade number one wolverine origins another deadpool book there crossover some x-men first off uh nimrod number 191 uh this is just a classic uh cover here uh x-men 207 and my last book, uh, as I've said, I try, I'm try. i trying to complete all the different, um, I don't know if this will show all the way. I'm trying to complete all of the DC New 52 variant months. And I, I, if you watch any of my videos, I pretty much illustrate what that means. But to do it once again, uh, DC and the New 52, they would starting, I don't even remember what issues, like in the teens, they would take a month and they would put a theme on it. And throughout all of their uh, titles, they would do that theme. And some were like a, you know, order as you want type of a thing or a cover B type thing. Others were incentive variants. Uh, coveted ones are the, um, uh, the uh, steampunk um, and uh, a few other ones are rather coveted. Uh, I think probably the most craziest one was the lenticulars during the uh, Forever Evil month tie in there they did all these lenticulars for a couple of months and i know people were going crazy for those um but a couple of months they did mad variants in one month it was a one in ten variant and another month it was a one in 25 variant and please forgive me i don't remember which was first uh but um so i want to try to pick up all of those uh issues 
And uh, this is one that I was missing, Batgirl number 30, the uh, Mad variant. And let's face it, anything Batgirl, people weren't really collecting Batgirl that much. I don't think people were really buying Batgirls that, that well. So this is a lower print run, regardless if it's a 1 in 10 or a 1 in 25. Um, and so uh, this was a 9, it's a 9-8, nine, 9-8 eight, nine, eight slab. And I got this for like 20 bucks, I think. I mean, less than 20, 25 bucks, less than what it costs to sh slab and ship it. So I thought, why not? I mean, I could get a raw one for 16 that wasn't guaranteed 9 8. So I don't know. I'm not really much for slabs, but if I can get them for the price of a raw, yeah, twist my arm, right? So that's it. And um, like I said, I'm going to a toy show uh, in a few days, and uh, hopefully I'll have enough to do a haul video with that. Um, so expect a haul video from that. Regardless, it might be a couple weeks. I'll, get, I'll have enough books to do a haul video pretty shortly. So uh, uh, this is Vin Cruz saying thank you so much for taking this journey with me. Signing off.